Welcome everybody to a brand new episode of The Shallow Water Adventures with Keith and Jeffrey. I am Jeffrey. I'm Keith. And the rest of you are very lucky because welcome to season three of The Shallow Water Adventures. Woo! Season three? Wow. Season three. Can We're you so... believe that? No, I can't. You can't even believe it. You're no, that old. I am that old. I made it, well, <laughs> I made it through another season. Made I'm it ready for a season. new season. Hopefully wow. this season will be better than last season. Everybody is kind of hoping that right now, but we, I would like to say that you know, the season will automatically be better because we are here and a part of it. Yes, yes. I, exactly. And tons of free stuff. Tons of free stuff, free everybody. Free stuff. Welcome back. Um, we are very excited and we're happy to have you with us today. Um, it's it, We're kicking things off today. It's, today's a big day. It's a big day. We've been waiting for this one. We've been off for the last two weeks. Yeah, we have. Well, we, we have. We, we, we substituted last week. Well, we were our, on catch and release, yes, but for, this is, no, we've been off, Shallow right, Water has not weeks. been on for two weeks. So. Not my fault. I have, it wasn't <laughs> my fault. Chrysler Keith was... It was not your fault. It was okay. Yes, every, everything is okay, but we are back. Um, we've got a lot of really fun stuff planned for the next, what, 20 weeks 20 or so. 20 plus weeks. Yes. Um, so we're really excited about that. We've got some new sponsors. Um, we're really excited. We've got lots to give away over the course of this whole season, and uh, it's going to be big. Yes. We have plans. We do. We do. I've been planning. Jeffrey's been planning, <laughs> and I've been working on the phones really, really hard. <laughs> yes. So I am very excited about that. In the meantime, though, while I'm letting everybody jump on to join us for this very monumental moment, um, Keith. So uh, you know what's what's been happening? What's new? Uh, what's new? Keith's vision is better. Cataract he surgery see. in both eyes. So Clint's got to watch out. I'm going to be shooting. His limits this year instead of him shooting mine. <laughs> Actually, so, we don't party hunt, so. So, we literally, you're saying that there is no more excuse. Well, I don't know. I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping not. There'll be something, trust me. Oh, you'll come as up. I, as I get older, it seems to be like a monthly type of thing. But no, um, that's all cleared up, taken care of. Good. Um, the phones have been really busy, Jeff. Procrastination. Big word. Not a word Keith likes around Mud Buddy. No. But guys, most of you are into your early teal season and that stuff. If you're not, get your boat ready now because the last three days has been <laughs> horrible <laughs> with crazy. people trying to get parts, figure out what's wrong with their machines, uh, silly questions like how much oil, what kind of this, what kind of that, how do I do this, how do I do that. Yes. So it's I, just been insane. I feel like as many times as we say it, they still don't listen. It, nobody, no, they listen. And, and they all listen, of you yes. guys, I feel like it's you guys that are watching that are probably all very prepared. I, yeah, I, th I think so, but there's just, <laughs> if your friends aren't prepared, kick them in the hiney. We blame you. Yeah, we blame you. You are now responsible yeah, for everybody it's, else. It's amazing how much we've preached over the last two years, now going into the third season. Take care of it now, it'll take care of you later, and the phones have been... Pretty just much, crazy. Pretty much nonstop. Nonstop. Yeah. I, I hardly, I barely get it. Monday, I didn't even go to lunch. I sat at my desk for 10 solid hours, whittling away. Whittling away. Whittling at your away. Giant list of, 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 of return, call, calls. return calls. Yes. I, I just want to bring up one thing. I, can I ask this question? Yes. How's the chat bot going? Chat, I, you know what? <laughs> it's funny. It doesn't show up on my computer. What? It does not show up on my computer. Ricky and Bill are doing a wonderful, amazing job they on are. it, and I'm just trying to stay up with the phones, email, Facebook, Facebook Messenger. There's so many ways to get hold of us that there's no excuse. And you did say silly questions, but there are no silly questions. There are we no would silly much questions. rather you ask these questions yes. than to not ask. It these just questions. seems yes. silly because after about the fifth or sixth or seventh time that day, it's like really, <laughs> it's like, wow. it's like I wanna, I wanna put on the answer machine. Hi. You've reached Mud Buddy. Your motor holds two quarts of oil, but <laughs> if it's a 35 or larger. If you that have a, a 23, it's one quart. That is This not is the a oil idea. filter. These are the cross reference oil filter. A bunch of just. Do you know what I need to do? Is I need to put like a, a, a stat sheet, like on the front page of the website, or something like an automatic pop up that's like, hey, FYI. Right. Here's the oil, here's the filter, here's the plugs, here's. And you know we can you can get different varieties of oil and oil filters and fuel filters so it sure. doesn't matter just make sure you use a good cross reference sheet if you're good on the internet I'm not but I can still find cross references and interchange from the Briggs fuel air oil filter to a Fram or whatever else I need to go to at that part store so, yes yes that would be very helpful 
That would be me. helpful. That would be yes. really helpful. That would be helpful for a lot well, of our customers. You know, let's uh, let's let's have a meeting. Let's put together some memos. We'll get it in triplicate. And we'll put you know we'll put something on the board. We'll put it on the board. There we go. Because <laughs> it's it's just uh, yeah it's just repetition. Yes. Yeah, so but that's okay. Yeah. Ask the questions. I don't want yeah. um, I don't want you to a not ask a question. No, and then we'd rather you something happens. Ask and have everything go smoothly. Yes. Because this is an important time of the year, Keith. Very important. Because a week from Saturday, bro. We are going to be knocking them out of the sky. Okay. At least I hope so. Oh my God! I might have two pairs of sunglasses on, but I will. I know I will you be will shooting see, better. But you're going to see it. You're going to see them good. I will see them clearer now. Very good. Very so good. We're we're ready. So what's yeah. been on with you in the last two weeks? You know, last couple of weeks, um, it's also been very busy uh, on my side. We've uh, we've got a lot going on actually. Yes. In between uh, between Mud Buddy and XL Boats, we've got tons of really cool stuff happening. Um, and I'm going to talk about some of it here in a minute because they, uh, I'm, I'm excited about You're them. Excited. working really hard tell. about them. And, um, uh, yeah, uh, just getting ready for the season, all, all sorts of yes. fun stuff. Now that we've got this website up, we've got lots of new um, information that is being uploaded and downloaded and all sorts of fun stuff, every way loaded, <laughs> loaded into your gun. Is your gun loaded. Yes. Is your gun loaded, yes. All sorts of stuff going out. So it's, it's just a whirlwind, which is really, really fun. So... Um, but I did get out golf last weekend, so oh, that was cool. kind of because you never know with the weather as it's starting to change. Like yes. you have to kind of steal every moment you can. Because here in another couple of weeks, it's over. It's over. Because I think we have rain coming oh, Saturday, no. Sunday, and up in the higher elevations. I was up in Park City last week. It was beautiful. It's silly Sunday, and I looked at the forecast for this coming weekend. It's snowing up. Right. So, yeah. So, uh, so you never know. Plus, it's kind of the rainy season. We don't get a lot of rain, but it, here in this, this next couple of months, because the cold doesn't bother me. I'll golf in the cold. No problem. But, not in but the, the wet rain, rains. yeah, the rain, I just yeah, can't when do. Yeah, when you stiff that shag, it's just like, your hands <laughs> oh my vibrate. Like, oh, absolutely. Nothing. And when you, when you hit the ball fat as yes. many times as I do during a round, yeah, yeah you have no hands. It yes. doesn't matter, but gloves don't help. No. 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 That's no. why I quit golf. All right. So today, Keith, what do we have on the agenda for episode one, Shallow Water Adventure season three. We're gonna go over just a few maintenance things. What yes. kind of oils, filters, plugs. Uh, show you again where to find your serial number. Um, they'll be in different locations on motors depending on the year. We tend to change them up. Sometimes I'm not involved in that, so I'm guessing, like you're guessing which side. <laughs> we'll show you where your gearing is stamped in your motor. Very important question if you wanna do any type of gearing change, um, those kind of things, of course, We'll always talk about props. We're gonna have that yes. battle again. Big blade, raptor, <laughs> raptor baby. So always, always you know, love it. We'll, we'll, we'll get into, this, into some of that. So just okay. preventative maintenance. Take care of it now. Yes, it'll take care of you. Let's not worry about frozen throttle cables in October, November, December because we're gonna take care of it now. Yes, absolutely. Okay, good. So before we get to that though, I have a couple of things that I I want to make you aware of, and I'm I'm trying to keep an eye out here so right now if you've been watching on uh, on our Facebook page on either XL or this one right now is the super retriever series crown championship is having right now like as right we now, speak outside the yes, door it's no 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 it's in Mississippi M-I-S-S-I-O -S -S Mississippi yes, okay. yes, Mississippi um, and our very good friend Jay Paul is the voice is Jeremy there Jeremy is not there Jeremy is actually watching right now hey, hey Jeremy, hey, Jeremy. Um, but no, Jay Paul is there like like when you see any kind of dog show or any kind of sporting event, he's there with the microphone. Oh, he's, he's the MC. He's the MC. He's, oh. he's giving out the information. It's really, really awesome. Um, and you can watch that live. It's streaming live constantly. Are we going to have him in the future because we now, know he's a dog trainer? Listen, he Maybe was... Maybe he can help us out. He was going to try... Oh, yes. He will with be on plenty. Training. But he was going to try and jump on with us during this. But I have not seen him yet. So I don't know if that's going to happen. Okay. But he might be a special guest. We might bring him in and have him tell us a little bit what is happening. But it's really, really cool. These dogs are incredible. They're handlers, trainers. These people are amazing in the things that they have these dogs do. Um, this morning, they were doing a uh, uh, three, three duck retrieve. Um, really, really cool. These dogs are beautiful and so well trained. And um, so much fun. <laughs> so if you, and because it's, it's the season, I know so many of you probably hunt with dogs. Check it out. It's really, really awesome. Say hi to uh, Jay Paul. But that's on, uh, if you go to www.livestream.com slash SRS, 
and I will post that here. You can also go onto any one of our um, Facebook pages, and there's the links. and the link is right there. But go on and watch that. I actually think they don't start up again until four o'clock tonight. I believe is when their next event. Oh, is. they did start it. Uh, they had an eight and... o'clock this morning, and they went till about uh, one o'clock or so, and then they've got one this evening. And then <laughs> keep an eye out on XL too, because Jay Paul might do a little um, um, a little a little live on XL, but he is in the. I, I don't want to spoil it in case he jumps on. I'll, so I'll tell you maybe later. But he's he's all dressed up. He's all dressed up. Oh, he is no all dressed go. up. No, and he's got a place to go. So um, I really hope I was really hoping to show, but uh, we'll see. I'm I'm keeping my eye out right here. So that's really awesome. Um, check that out right now. Lots of lives, cool stuff. Those dogs are amazing. Um, and later on in the in the week, towards the end, they're going to be running the dogs out of an XL boat, out of an F4. Yes, out on, they've got this little pond out there and they'll get into the water and, and do it all. It'll be really, really That'd awesome. They're jumping out of the boat that is actually being given away as the prize for um, Delta Waterfowl. Gotcha. Delta Waterfowl is giving away, if you are entering into Delta Waterfowl, you can enter to win um, that boat. And that's the boat that he's got down there already. And that's got a 40? That's got a 40. It's got a 40. Horse on it. uh -huh. yeah. yeah, I Good believe motor. it's a 754. F4 shallow water F4 with the uh, with the at 40 anniversary. Cool. On it. Yeah, so that's really awesome. Check that out. Um, I love it. I really enjoyed it this morning. I had a hard time concentrating at work this morning because I, I was watching. It. Didn't have a hard time <laughs> concentrating. The phone just keeps ringing. Very good. The other thing that I want to tell you all about um, is for XL boats, and I know a lot of you follow XL boats, but in November, the first and second of November is the King Cat Tournament Classic. Okay, this is like the Super Bowl of catfishing. Now I know you don't do a lot of catfishing, no. <laughs> and I do just a little bit, but I do absolutely love it. And these guys are some of the very, very best in the world. And so the premier event, like the big, the big dog, the big dog, happens the big at the end of, uh, or at the beginning of November, the very first of November. It's like the Super Bowl, and we've got. There are there are entered about 120 teams entered. They're all two man teams. Wow, that's and a lot of people. And we've got yes, a lot of boats. A lot of boats out on the water. I mean, this is we're looking at 120 thousand dollars worth of prizes. Wow, including the grand prize I might being. Try to catch this. <laughs> I don't you know anything try about it. it. Anybody got any well, tips about catfishing? The grand prize is actually an XL Cat Storm Cat 230, which is a huge boat. Beautiful. I mean, it's it's like. The granddaddy of a lot of money of boats, and nice which is boat. the grand prize to win. So, I mean, this is it's a big, big deal, and we've got four or five teams, XL Pro Staff teams, in the running. Cool. Um, so, I'm gonna have lots of this coming out. Keep your eyes on it, so you can root, you can kind of learn about our teams, who's gonna be competing, what's their style, all about them, and then we're gonna be coming to you live all day, both days. We are not you and I, oh. but Jay Paul. J. Paul and Jeremy, most Jeremy, likely. Okay. Jeremy is there actually running. Jeremy actually runs that whole tournament. That whole tournament. He's kind of the big dog over there. He's a big guy. Yeah, well, He's young. In all ways. <laughs> um, but J. Paul will be uh, will be there filming for us, doing oh. the lives on our on our page. Gotcha. Yes. So that is going to be really really exciting. Stay tuned to that. That is what I am very very excited for. I've been making videos and, and graphics and all sorts of stuff, getting ready for that. This. You seem dubious about it. What? No, I, I'm like I've, I've, too, I've been too busy. To, you like you asked me, hey, you know we're launching the show today. I'm like the new three, year three. I'm like, yeah, no. He goes, we well, haven't been on Facebook, not today, not, not much. Today. Not much. Too All busy. right, so let us do a couple of call outs, shall we? And then we'll get into this stuff. I got Brandon Smith on. Uh, he says, hey guys, hey Brandon. I got T uh, Jeff Fuchs is on. Hey Jeff. Team, team Jeff, yes. Team Jeff. Uh, Frank Williams is on. What's up, Frank? Good to see you. Uh, Nicholas Sellers is on. Glad to be back, Nick. We're glad to have you with us. Joe DeCrane, yay, free stuff. Absolutely, I've got Absolutely. some stuff. I'm we got away. a really cool new item that we just came out with. We do prototype. And I got a prototype, prototype to give away today. Ooh, yes. That's my prototype. No, it's not. Okay. You don't. You can't have it. Rob Rasmussen is with us. Hey, Rob. Hey, Rob. We got to meet Rob. Yes. In person. In, in person. the flesh. He was here. He was here. Local guy. I know. It's always exciting to put a face with these names. Yes, it is. Yes, absolutely. Um, so, hey, Rob. Mark Harrow is with us. Hey, Mark. And happy to be. We're glad to have Mark with us. Uh, Andrew Hagen is here. Oh, look at this. Looking for brownie points. Andrew Hagen, I just did my oil change, VR1. Way to go. Solid, solid work. Solid work, Very solid good, Andrew. 
Um, Rick Hillicoss is with us. He says, hey guys, good afternoon. Hey Rick, good to have you with us. I was just talking about you a little bit ago. John Chans is with us. John, it's like we, it's like old home week. We got all the guys with us. They're all back. They want to see what we got. It's so good. Oh, that makes me so happy. He says, Jeffrey, is that a new label on the grease? <laughs> Rick, yes. So, weeks ago. Weeks ago, I got in trouble. Doofus here <laughs> promised Rick a prototype of, of our new grease. This is actually for sale now. It's, you can actually buy it on the web, on the store. It's actually there. This but he promised one that was just like a taped piece of it paper. Was, it was literally just around it. And you had it literally on your desk. Yes, I just happened to have it sitting on my desk, and he was like, oh, here, you can have this. Well, he's gotten everything else. And I, I, tried, he's a I know, green, I know. So, like, so, yes, this is the official label. The official label. This is the actual official, and yes, Rick, I do have one coming for you. Um, but I'm going to give another one away We're going to give another one? Yes. And this is the actual grease that when you we, buy a Mud Buddy, this is in yes, your drive. this is what's and in your drive. And we've been using this stuff. I've been with Mud Buddy 12 years now, a little over 12 years. And that's what we've been using. And yeah. it finally comes in a little tube for your gun at home. Um, yes, that is the one. Casey Brady is with us. He's a gentleman. I keep meaning to drop off some gifts to you. But I keep getting busy at work next Saturday. All will be right in the world. Oh, man, kids. Oh, he's taking us hunting? Is that what he means? I, all I right so. in the world? I hope so. Hey, drop off whatever gifts you have. We'll <laughs> reciprocate and, we and maybe like <laughs> throw in a tube of grease. Absolutely. I'm not sure where they keep it yet. I haven't found that one. All right. Jeremy Coe is watching. says, hey, guys. Hey, hope Jeremy. you're all doing good. Wish you were coming to Tennessee with Jeffrey in October. He's I very sad. I too. Yes. Oh, I forgot to tell them that. Yes, I am going to be in Tennessee in October, which I am crazy excited about. Um, but I'll brag about that later. Yes. Yeah. Um, Jeff Duke says, just got a BPS Essentials kit, and it has some good stuff in it. Don't want to be down and out in the bad switch relay. Check it out. I am so with you, Jeff, yes. on that. That is one of my favorite items. Um, in fact, we'll probably end up doing like an entire episode just about that. And maybe we'll give a kit away. And give a kit away, because it's, it's, it's an essential. I would not go without one. Well, and, and when, I, when I talk to guys and they need to order a switch and refer them over to Travis, I always recommend get two switches yes the shipping isn't that much more i know you got to pay for an extra sh switch but you're replacing one anyways you got to have that emergency backup because you don't want to wait a week for that switch to come back and forth especially when you've only got a short season compared to our large, large season our large you know how i did that yeah. short large <laughs> the 107 days we have it it doesn't our guys don't seem to get too excited when they miss a couple days here because we have such a long season but in the Midwest and the South, in yes. those 60 day yes. seasons, you miss a week and uh, oh man, it makes a little it people's make, blood pressure go up it, a lot. It really does. So no, it really does. Sure, so, so smart. Make sure you've got those things. It's it's worth its weight in gold. It may cost you a couple bucks now, but when you're at home pulling out whatever switch went bad or throttle cables messed up, and you've got it at home, you can just sit back and smile because <laughs> you've got it with you and you yes. can replace it no, on the fly. No worries. That's exactly right. And this is the other thing that I love about this show and, ta and talking and all of all of our guys that, that we love. Johnny Briggs just said this. He says, hey, guys, the Briggs & Stratton website has a PDF file with all the basic data necessary for maintenance required on your engine. Teal season has been a hit and miss in East Texas, but we're here, here till the end. Awesome. Thank yes. you. Thank you for that heads up. I, I love all the, all the we, info. And do you think you can grab that link? I will grab that link, actually. That's so smart. I, when this is over, I'll run upstairs and post that link. I'll to that. walk upstairs. You're not I've already run ran once today to you've get done, something I forgot. You've done all your yes, cardio for the day. Thank you, Johnny. I really yes, thank appreciate, you. appreciate that. Appreciate that. That's and uh, I, I want to know. I'm sad that that's a hit and miss already. Hopefully, that will, you know. Well, they've had some it, really bad weather with the storms and all that I stuff down there. It's uh, uh, it's it's tough all around. But you know, everybody, just as a general note for all of season three, I love all the updates of wherever you are. So when you get on, when we go live, just that should be your first comment. Yes. And we want to see you live. This is how the weather is, and this is what the this is what the shooting has been like. Uh, Mark Harrell, no joke, guys. Twenty one years retired military here, and I'm telling you, and everyone watching between my bed and BPS, there's absolutely no reason for anyone not to know how to either fix something on the motors or add something to your motor. <laughs> he says, by far hands down, the best customer service in the market. I cannot thank both of you so much for the professionalism and help. Thanks, brothers. Mark, you're the man. Thanks, Mark. I don't, I don't know it's, what to say. It's nice to get I'm, a little I'm positivity pushing. instead Mark, of. Mark, you're so good to us. Mark, I'm gonna send you something nice. Tell me what, tell me what you want for that kind of praise. You know what? Should we? Yeah. All right. 
Okay, we'll get. Uh, should we do that now, or should we do that in a little bit? Let's we'll, let's, uh, let's do it in a little bit. Let's do it in a little bit. Let's get on to nice prototype. You say yes, Brandon Smith. I've got a prototype. I'm gonna give away. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. We got Brooks on, uh, T.J. Owings, and Brandon Puckett. We have a visitor with us today. Oh my goodness! Come on in. No, we'd never. He'd never come in. But uh, we do have a little bit of an audience. We are filmed in front of a live studio audience. Today. Yes. We'd like to say hi to our shop manager, Ian. Yes, who always helps out and who I like to promise that I will put everything away at the end of the show, but I make absolutely no guarantees. <laughs> and so, Ian's the one that when we get the orders, he's the one that gets them started and follows it all the way through. And he does, he does an amazing job. Yes. So, okay, awesome. Let's talk about these motors. Okay, what do you want to talk about? I don't know. You're the one in charge. Okay, so let's just talk about different kinds of oil. All right. I put this VR1 out here because... That's what the owner runs. It's a great oil. There's tons of good oils out there. And if you put out there on the social media, what oil do I run? You will be run over with everybody's Every got their own opinion. Idea. Yes. So just use a good multi-grade, a 10W30. A lot of guys run conventional. Uh, a lot of guys run synthetic. You guys with new motors who are doing your break-in, you have to hit 15, 12 to 15 hours before you switch over to a synthetic. So keep that in mind. Um, all the old guys with old motors, old 35s, 5,000s, 45, 6 and 7,000, you're roughly two quarts. The new 40 and new 50 are a little bit over two quarts. So you guys have got 40s and 50s, you need to buy three bottles. Right. And make sure you always add a little bit and check. Don't overfill. Underfilling is bad and overfilling is not good either. So right. just keep an eye on that. You want to use a good um, fuel filter. We keep the Briggs Stocks ones here in stock. If you can't find a Briggs one, automotive places, just make sure you get one that fits your hose. You can't take a 5 16 hose and neck it down to a quarter inch and just squeeze <laughs> it because it tends to damage the nipple on the filter and then will cause fuel running out of the hose and all over and it will eat your paint. So make sure if you've got a 5 16 hose, the fuel filters you buy have a 5 16 or a quarter, something that fits your hose. Do not try to neck down 5 16 to a quarter. We see it all the time from people who try to do it and it just causes frustration and paint damage and other things. So yes. make sure you use the right one. We've got here um, the NGK, I can't read the numbers. We've got a BKR6ES, great plugs. The ones that come in the motors are Champion RC, 12 YC, good plugs also. Um, make sure you got those at 30 thousandths. Okay. Um, and then oil filter, very important. Change yes. the oil, change the filter. Um, high performance motors, Mike and I like to recommend about every 25 hours. Okay. Um, or you can go to 50, it's your choice. I'm gonna go at 25 hours because it's not that much of an expense. You can use the standard Briggs filter or jump on there on the internet and grab the number and do a conference. I know a FRAM number is a PH3614. I don't know any of the other cross references. On the web page, when you go to tips and all that stuff, there's um, some. There's a Napa filter, a Wix filter number, there's some other spark plug numbers. So there's other things out there. So you don't have to use these brands, but make sure it's a good cross reference and equivalent to what you have. And these little things on the table, you're talking 20 to 30 bucks, depending if you go synthetic versus conventional so it doesn't break the bank it's not like a lot of the guys I bet drive diesel trucks yeah and when they have the oil change in their diesel truck it's like a hundred dollar bill right this is like a twenty to thirty dollar bill so but this stuff will save your life amongst other things that you need to yes to make sure that you do so just know quality oil change it often um, belt tension keep it between 12 to 16 pounds that's a good number um, you can get belt tension testers at Backwater Performance. Yep. Um, probably those of you local um, automotive or auto parts stores, you can check there also. So yes, some of the things that we're looking at. And one other thing, you're gonna have to grab the camera. I will grab the camera. And this is something that's really important, especially if you want to do some gearing adjustments in your motor. Micah and Ricky or myself, we're gonna ask you what gear you have on the top and the bottom of your motor. Everybody says, well, I have whatever stock. Well, we change things occasionally, and some of it's because of manufacturing things that we have to do some changes. So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna locate 
the oil filter. This is on this side of the motor. <laughs> Right down below the tube, not all of you have this tube. Some of you have it up maybe a little bit higher. But right down below, and it's a little bit hard to see, you have the drain plug. You've got a number on the left side of the plug and the right side. The left side of the plug indicates what gear you have on the top gear. The right side number indicates what you have on the lower part. And this is the one we're going to be changing. If you change the top one, it's just like triple the cost. So that's where you're going to find this number before you leave. Your serial number on these guys, it's a little gray sticker. It's got a six digit note, did six digit code, says Mud Buddy LLC. That's a number that we're also gonna need any, especially if you're calling about warranty, we're gonna need the, the serial number and the date of purchase. So you can usually locate them either on the right hand side of the cowling or on the left side, but it's always a six digit number and it always starts out with a zero. There's our, there are numbers out there that say Arcmos, that's a good number, but we'd much rather have the Mud Buddy number so we don't have to do a little bit extra work cross-referencing the Arcmos number over to a Mud Buddy number. So let's just a quick few little tips. Make sure that you grease your drive, your belt tension. Um, if you've got a good throttle cable, before it starts to get cold, pull that cable off. WD-40 it to death. Yes. Get all the moisture, the water, the gunk out of it. If you do have problems with it freezing, WD-40, antifreeze. There's other ways that I'm not gonna say that we always used to say, those are quick instant fixes, but as soon as you run down the water, it will freeze again because you've gotta get the trap water out because yes. that's what freezes. That's what freezes. So be prepared when it really gets cold, before it gets cold, get that cable cleaned out, get it lubed up and get an extra one. Yeah. If you've gotta order, a clutch switch or a trim switch or kill switch or whatever and you don't have a spare throttle cable get that cable because it will save you a week's worth of frustration waiting for the part to get there and then also right. we're dealing with uh, I know I sent some uh, war a warranty switch to a guy in Texas I sent it last week he still hasn't gotten it because of the flooding down there and so you've got to think about weather because UPS will use that excuse as often as they can to right. delay your part yes. in weather and they weather causes issues too so right. be just be prepared that's all I can say is and can't say it enough all right so um, how many times a year should you change your oil in your mud bed is I mean you can change as often as you want I would I me personally every 25 hours right if you don't use it as much or run it as hard 50 hours is fine or annually if you're a guy who only puts on 15 hours a whole season. Right. But most of the guys I've been talking to lately, you're buying this motor, this really nice boat, you're using it more than just duck hunting out. You're going into fishing or, and you know, uh, what else? Uh, frogging, shooting gators or yeah, whatever. Okay. So, yeah, you know, yeah. there's, it's 20 to $30 to change your oil. It's worth it because you've got a nine to $10,000 investment. Yep, absolutely. You know, so you treat it well. And it, it'll do the same to you. Like so. John's, like John Shans, Shans says, it's a cheap insurance plan. It is. It really is. You know, it's we're here in the winter. I know when I during the winter because I I drive quite a distance to work every day, and I keep a. I always make sure I never get below half a tank during the winter. Right. I keep a blanket in the car. Yes. I've got flares. I've got stuff. So if something happens and I have to wait for emergency services, I'm not going to freeze to death in the car and I've got some stuff to just take care of myself. And I'll keep it in there during the summer because I don't worry about freezing it, more like sweating. Sweating to the, yeah. But I always have a little emergency kit for the winter time because you never know what the roads are like when you travel the distance that I do and not the distance that you do. Right, so I can walk over. You can, <laughs> you can walk to work faster than I can get to oh, the yeah. freeway. I really can, yes, so. that is absolutely true. But yeah. So good. Thank you. That is all very, very good uh, stuff. Continue on with the questions. Don't hesitate to ask. He may be grumbling, but uh, we do want you to ask all of these questions. They are important. Uh, you can also keep asking on this um, on this post. Yes. Uh, all of you guys are so great, and thank you for your responses. They're answering everybody's questions before we even That's get good. a chance to, which is really awesome, which is why we love this. <laughs> it makes it easier for yeah. me. Yes. Especially so, if we're out in the field and we're traveling back. Right. You know. Right, absolutely. So we, we love it that you guys are, are pitching in um, a lot of different ideas, which, is, which are really great. 25 to 30 hours is what a lot of people have been saying 
on that change. So we really appreciate that. And we want to continue that kind of uh, community right. here of, of what's working best for everybody. Um, so, great. Good job. Good, thank you. You proved that I you tried. know. You know what I, you're talking about. A little bit. <laughs> I don't know how many times a day I've talked about it, but it's been a little bit. But it's okay. It's, uh, yes. it's, what, it's what I get paid to do, and I enjoy helping our Mud Buddy guys, yes, our, our Mud absolutely. Buddy people, our family. Our family, hands down. Because without them, we're not here. Oh, no doubt. No doubt about it. We're somewhere else. <laughs> And I like working here. And I like working here. Yes. I don't want to go anywhere else. Nope, me either. Got it. Very good. Okay, so let's do a big reveal here. A big reveal. reveal. A and big I, reveal. We're already giving this away to somebody, right? I'm going to give this away today. Oh, I thought we already decided who we were going to give Oh, we, are, we did yes. decide, yes. Okay. We did decide. So make sure we're on the same page. Yes. No, no, no. Because you did write it down in the I salty, whatever I we call I it. I didn't write remember. it down in the in the assassin log. The assassin log. I can never remember. Oh, hey, we got another visitor. Uh-oh. Don't get burned, everybody. No torch in his hand. No torch in his hand. He's all right. Ricky's watching everybody. R Ricky's in the house. We've got several different episodes with Ricky and yes. coming up over the next few weeks. It's going to be exciting. With fire or without? I'm sure there will be fire involved. He'll find a way to I get mean, it. How, I mean, why would we not? I that seems yeah. just like a waste. It's a little warm right now to bring out fire, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. we got nothing to burn right now, but uh, later on. So this is our latest. You've all seen our, our cup holder that we've yes. been selling. Well, we've adapted it already. We, whose idea was the adaption? This was, was Bill, our general Bill. manager, Bill, was like, do you know what we should do? <laughs> he does that a lot. And voila, he came up with this. This is the drink holder and the shell holder all in, all one. in one. Look at this. I got a couple of sh Oh, don't drop it. I got a shell right here. Look, they just drop right in. Carry your shells. And it'll hold right in it. how many? Two, three, four, five, six, 12 shells. 12 shells. And if you need more than 12 shells to shoot seven ducks, you can hunt with me. <laughs> that means you belong with Keith and I. Because Keith doesn't go anywhere with like more than three or four boxes of shells. Yes. So that is, uh, that's our, our newest thing. That will be up available to purchase on the store in probably a week or so. Um, I've only got like total, there are maybe three or four in existence. But this particular one, Mark Harrell, this is yours. It's yours, buddy. I'm going to send this off to you as soon as we, uh, actually probably be tomorrow, let's be honest. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go home and get started on the Show drink. him what he wants. So that's, uh, that's it. It's got the XL etched in it. Holds the shells right there. It'll hold 12 shells, your coffee cup, or beverage of choice. <laughs> or beverage of choice. And preferably not until after you're hunting in. Yes. Home. Not on the road, not in the boat. <laughs> ne never Safety. on the road, not in the boat. And, and make sure you're safe out on the water. I know a lot of us think, hey, the water's only a couple feet deep, but if an accident happens, um, it could be six inches deep and you can lose your life. So make sure that you're safe and you're following the rules in your state because every state's a little bit different okay excellent now listen we were just talking about this uh mark stop just asked this question we were talking about it just before we started and so i have no answer for you mark but he says will those come painted too um so here's the thing i don't know <laughs> we have talked about it a little bit um i I, I don't know if that's something we'll be able to do. It will change it, it will change the price on them, especially if they were to be painted in the Octafade because we don't own the Octafade. That's right. something we license. And so that makes it a little more challenging to do and it may change the the whole dynamic of it and kind of price that right out of it is, your... It's stainless steel too. It's, that, and it's stainless steel, so your paint's not going to really... Well, if you want to paint it, paint it. For us to paint it, it's going to increase the chart, the price yeah, of like it. it so to me, it seems like it wouldn't really be worth it. Like it, it, it will just change the whole thing of it so much that you won't want to buy it. It'll, it will it'll, yeah, less it'll cost take effective. it out of the cost, cost effective. Yes. And so I don't, I don't know, but let me say this. If you all want it painted so bad, let's do a little poll here. If you feel like you would rather it be painted, if you were more likely to buy it, if it were painted, shout out. Give, give a shout out on this. We'll keep an eye on it. And we'll just take a poll. We'll kind of test the waters. Feel, see how people feel about it. Painting it one solid color is much different than painting it like a camo, a camo type yes. pattern. But so, I understand why you'd want to paint it because this will reflect sunlight. It will, yes. it will show up a little more. But so I totally your, understand. Or, I'm sorry. Run all over you. If you have your BPS blind and you have your blind up, they will see that. But that, if you don't have that a blind, is true. Like yes, just, it should be inside your boat, and your blind should yeah. be covering it anyway. So, and if you're not, you're just hunting the cattails, like we do. 
it's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Yeah. So might I would at least have to put your coat over yeah. it, or I would at least paint it green. green. <laughs> but because we have access to painter, it's gonna match the boat. Yeah. But for you guys out there, it's gonna come stainless steel and paint options. Yeah. It's gonna drive the price up that much more. Right. Yes. So paint it yourself. Okay. So Casey Brady, our good our good friend. Casey's local. He is. Right down the street. He is. Um, he went salmon. He was fishing. really hoping that it was the uh, the Camp Chef grill mount. Casey, what do you have to say about that? Casey, come and see me next week, and Ricky and I will get the brackets for you. And uh, as long as you buy, why the, are you getting me on this? <laughs> because you're better <laughs> at operating certain tools than okay. I am with my. Okay, well, I, I got good vision far away. I still can't see up close. It's clearer and crisper, but so we we'll, we'll get to, Casey. Okay. We'll take care of you. Yes. Okay. And the rest of you, we are going to use Casey's to really figure out exactly what pieces we need to to buy and get like we they will it will yes. be a part of the creation process so the rest of you can get that and this will not recess down into the boat it no. sits and runs right off of it the runs t-rail system. On, on that e-rail track right. that, that big black e is it e the e-track or the e-rail i write it down a hundred times but i couldn't tell I, you what it is I right now know. i might you have to buy the tracking and then the Rail and to it, slide it into, yes. and the then yes, so. mm -hmm. you got to buy a couple of, yes. couple of inserts. You can buy two of the six inch, uh -huh. six inch inserts, and, then and they go underneath. That's what you'll attach the actual grill to. Eighteen or twenty inch piece of slide. The uh, that goes under the bottom of the stove. Well, that's what, so you'd put you'd have the stove. You put two six inch slides on no, the bottom of it, that. and they would run into that eighteen or that twenty or that twenty four inch piece of track. But couldn't you run it the other way too? I guess what, you could, whatever what you I buy, don't have is I don't have longer than a six inch insert right what? now. Yeah, that's the only size insert that we what? have to offer. But that's why you can get multiple. They're just yes. little things and they can be put everywhere. Everywhere and they slide in and out real fast and that's, that's okay. the point. So Casey, come see us. The point is, is that we're continuing to work on that. It's, it's our like season three goal. <laughs> We've only been talking about before that. season four. Bef before season four. Well, our, our engineer who was helping us with that has uh, is no longer here, so it's kind of now up to you and fabricators. I. Fabricators. A little bit of uh, Enrique fabricators to just <laughs> instead of drawing it up on the computer, we're just gonna do it the old school way. We're just gonna go grab some material. We're gonna cut, drill, taps, put some threads in, and it'll be ready to go. Yes. Um, okay. A couple of things. Mark Staub, I've got a, a Sitka hat for you for uh, bringing up the paint option. Mark, stop. I'm putting you down. I'll have to feed Marsh. Okay. Um, good, good, good. Rick Hillicott says, Optifade Hydro Dip would be cool. It sure would. Bryce, yes. you know. <laughs> I know. That would be awesome. It would be really, really Not awesome. Not sure who can do that, but we can. <laughs> um, but we've, yeah, so we've got people saying different things. So, uh, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll keep, a, keep our finger on the pulse. Maybe we ought to buy a Hydro painted. Dipper. Hydro Dipper ourselves. Um, powder, I'm just powder coated black, not worry about it. Yeah, just an idea. Very good, very good. Um, Andrew Hagen, when should we check the valve lash? Um, if you've got a brand new motor, I believe they say the first 10 to 15 hours, okay. and then every 50 hours after that. Got it. So, and if you have never done it, please do it. We get boats in all the time, and they've never adjusted, and some of them are fairly close and some of them it's a clattering machine so it's an important thing to talk about or yes. to do i didn't think about that but yeah because i don't do valve adjustments here that's in ricky's specialty i just bring the boat in write up the service ticket he does the work absolutely um brandon smith just said something very very good what are so, you gonna give him brandon i'm gonna i've got a mud buddy shirt for you actually for this for this comment because this is something that i would do brandon I'm smith this is give. a so, do you, I think he wants a short sleeve or the long sleeve. Well, yes. have both, don't we? But, I mean, well, it is about to be winter, so I'd imagine. Yeah. I don't know, it probably doesn't matter. For I have Smith. both. I like both. Um, if it's really hot out, I wear the long sleeve, so I have, don't have to wear as much sunblock. And if it's a little cooler temperatures, I go for the uh, the short sleeve. So, is what Brandon just brought up that if you paint these, don't. your shells won't fit. So make sure anymore. you You've got to make sure that you don't get any paint on that inside. Yes because those are machined to be exactly So save your empty right. holes, and when your holes are empty, 
stick it back in there and then you and paint then it you on paint. it. Yeah, because yes. then you won't get it in the... And exactly. if we powder coated it, then we're going to have to go back through and somehow have to change try to clean hole. all that up because they're going to charge us to put a plug in every one of those 12 holes and... The, yeah. the goal is as well, right now, these are only, these are the 12, 12 gauge, gauge only. So we're working on an insert to hold the 20 gauge. Yes, it'll be a nice little drop in insert. That was one insert. option, or we, the other option was we can do this on a 20 gauge. Right. Bill Engineer wasn't quite sure when I asked him that the other day, but he came up really quick with the insert idea, so. Yeah, which I like, I think that's a, sm I think that's a pretty smart idea. So if, you're, if you shoot 12 gauge, it's like I like to shoot both depending on where I go. Right. You know, I take my 12 gauge or my 20 gauge, and with that, pop out the little plugs, put them in a nice Ziploc baggie, and store them in your gun bag, and then... Oh, we got Jackson Hill on. Jackson, good to see you, buddy. Been a while. Um, Corey R asks, is it always best to check the muffler for any rust spots on it? You can. I mean, you, you'll notice what... Well, if they rust too much, then you get holes, and then you have problems. Right. So, yeah, it wouldn't hurt to check it every once in a while around the flanges and all that stuff for cracking holes or anything like that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And a good idea, a good one thing you'll see when you get a hole is you'll see black soot coming out of it. So that's a good oh, indication okay. you've got a hole somewhere. Very good. So great. Okay. Well, I think we are gonna call it there. Um, did I give everything? I think I did. Um, I do want to thank our sponsors. Yes. I know I've got to talk about them for just yes. a second. Um, our, our our new sponsor for this year, we've got Bird Dog Water. We've got back Bird Dog. Bird Dog. We are back. very very excited to have them with their great company out of. Uh, out of California. Yes. Actually. They're actually out of Gilroy. Yeah. If you like garlic, that's the place to go. <laughs> yes. You can hit both of them at the same time. <sighs> that's absolutely right. Um, but they, I love their apparel, their, their stuff, does. especially for uh, for you younger guys out there. Not that there's anything wrong with you older guys. Right yeah. <laughs> Us older guys like cool stuff too. We yeah, may you guys not like cool all stuff. be about the Maybe flat not brand. Maybe not flat brand, but uh, no, they, uh, <laughs> they've got some really cool gear. I really do like their stuff, really and uh, he's he's a really great uh, friend of the show. Yes. So we're, we're excited to have them back with us this season. So you'll be seeing some great gear we'll give away. Yes. He's got some new um, stuff coming, coming out, so we're yes. going to get some new updated designs oh, and all yeah. that stuff. So it's going to be really awesome. Um, Lucky Duck, of course. Yes. Um, Bill, Will, Will Roth, and all of those guys over there are really, really excellent. We uh, we really appreciate We're going to be shooting out over Lucky Duck Spread this year. We sure are. Bill's, Bill's hooking us up. You know, he really he really is. Those guys are so, they're so great over there. We love them and really appreciate all the help that yes. they have uh, given us over the many, many years. Yes. So, um, big thanks to Lucky Duck. Uh, BPS, of course. Yes. Um, uh, well, I mean, what can you say? What can you say about BPS. BPS. You know, BPS. they're so great. Check them out for everything. Um, of course, Camp Chef. Yes. Um, always been a big fan um, of the show, and so we love them and all the help that they have given us and, and support. We're hoping to uh, get Ryan back and do some cooking. I oh. love it. I love it when they come out. They cook <laughs> us the best stuff. Well, oh, hopefully, man. maybe this year we get them out on the boat. Maybe I know. That's the goal. Is the it, last two seasons, we've been on the water. Been to, well, you know, they're so busy. Yes. It's, it's hard. You know, they're busy and we're busy. I know, but that, that's, that's a, another season three goal is to actually get Camp Chef out on the water. Yes with us which would be really fun um and so oh and then our good friends at echo calls yes we cannot say enough about echo calls they are my call of choice they are your call of choice um and they will be free calls of choice <laughs> yes we've got a whole bunch that we we're going to yes. give away um over the next uh season 20 weeks it or so it would be fun to hunt with rick dunn man I would be uh, too intimidated i'm not sure i could i'm not sure i could like do it call and we'll shoot the birds yes. if we can hit them I, like, I don't know if I, sh I oh, man, run my cares? mouth or something, just talk too much. I'm, I'm sure, he's, I'm sure he's seen people shoot as bad as we, oh, we do. <laughs> we all got to start somewhere. We all got to start somewhere. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for watching us and for joining in on uh, Season 3. Yes. We hope to have a really, really fantastic season. Please like and share and uh, continue to join us. We're going to be back with you every week on Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So mark it in your calendar and uh, stay with us because it's going to be a good time. It's always a good time. Is it? It is. Yes, it is. It. <laughs> I enjoy it. It is. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching, and we'll see you next week.